Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do another review for mentalism. That's right, reading minds. If you watch my channel, you know I'm heavily into either card magic, we'll put card magic over here, and mentalism. <laughs> and so you get a lot of those reviews here on the channel. I review other stuff. I review, you know, some, some packet tricks and some coin magic and, uh, you know, some little close-up magic things and stage magic and parlor magic. We do it all. We do it all Monday through Friday, opening up the boxes, showing you the latest and greatest in magic. So if you like magic, you're thinking about becoming a magician, or you just want to learn about new stuff hitting the market, hit like, subscribe, follow, push those buttons. Uh, today, looking at Louis Laval. Uh, Louis Laval's got a new little uh, EDC called Hotline. Now, if you've wondered where Louis Laval has gone, he's over at Minehouse, minehouse.co.uk. Uh, that's his home now. And uh, if you haven't yet checked out the website, I would recommend it because uh, Louis is really good at uh, graphic design and uh, video. And so all the Mindhouse videos are shot really well. Um, a lot of the cover art looks like it came straight out of a movie. Uh, he's really good with music and just all, there, there's so much attention and care put into all these videos. They feel very theatrical. Like you feel like you're watching something that wasn't just thrown together. Like time was spent on this, care was put into this. And so even though like the past two tutorials that I've watched from Lewis are just Lewis talking to the camera, right? There's not a lot of, you know, there's no, there's no car chases or anything going on like that, but it still feels enjoyable to watch, to listen to. I could, I mean, I could listen to that guy's voice all day long. He's very smooth, smooth and very comforting. Lewis should put out like a series of like, uh, relaxation tapes. <laughs> he should, he's got a great voice for that. Um, hotline. What's Hotline? Hotline is this. It's a little EDC card. Looks just like that. And uh, it comes on the little rigid plastic. I could say, is it well made? Yes, it is well made. It feels exactly like a, uh, a gift card. You know, if you were getting a gift card from the grocery store, kind of feels along that same lines. Um, it's black and pink. You notice that? <laughs> so uh, it's made to look like some sort of like wellness card that you would stick in your wallet. You know, you'd bring it out and you'd like, oh, okay, here's, here's some instructions. Here's how to unlock my potential, unlock my destiny. And it has a little uh, numeric here in the middle. And you're gonna use that to jump into routines that will enable you to do uh, numerology readings. And so at its core, this is about numbers. All right, so numerology is using numbers to give a reading. And this card is gonna be your crib, basically, okay? So rather than you going to school or reading a book or you know studying numerology for years and years and years, Lewis is gonna give you a little card and it's your cheat sheet, all right? And it's gonna enable you to do numerology readings uh, for your spectator. So for instance, you could help them find you know, their magic number. They, they add up all the digits that are in their birthday and then they use that number to find their personality or they use that number to find uh, an answer to a question that they've had. So Lewis is gonna spend seven or eight videos long. Uh, you, you get a, a link to go out to Mindhouse. You watch all these videos online. They're, they're not downloadable. And you'll get everything that Lewis has uh, on this little card. And yes, you can use the front and the back. They both do uh, different things. And really, uh, you could use this card, a stack of billets and a Sharpie marker, and, and you're good. You know, Stick this in your wallet and you'll always have something ready to go. So, what does it do? Well, like I said, there's a long tutorial, right? And you're gonna get a trailer, which is on YouTube right now. You could go watch the trailer. That'll give you a little bit more info about it. He gives you an intro and he talks to you about how the card works. And he's gonna spend about 30 minutes just talking about scripting. He's gonna go over how he would do a reading for all nine reveals. So each one of the squares on the card is a reveal for a spectator. So uh, the first one is time, then love, then creativity, stability, change, harmony, adventure, 
prosperity, and wisdom. So the spectator is going to pick one of those, or they'll end up landing on one of those. And you'll be able to do a reading based on one of those topics. He's also going to talk about how to use the number to springboard off onto a larger trick. So let's say you know the number is five, or you know that they're thinking about change. Well, how do you use change, springboard off of it, and keep going? He's going to help you build an entire routine using billets. It's a super psychic routine. He'll talk to you about how you could incorporate this with a peak wallet, how you could do this propolis without the card, and he'll talk to you about the backside. It will enable you to do a book test. That's right, there's eight long words on the backside. You'll be able to do a mini book test with the backside of this card, and he'll give you th two, three different methods for the book test, different ways of finding and getting your long word, and then there's some final thoughts. So yeah, it all boils down to the little graph right here. Um, finding out their topic and their number. They could arrive at the number by uh, accident, right? Or they could choose the number. And then you'll be able to give them a reading based on one of these topics. Um, the neat thing is, is that it, you don't have to be afraid of math if you're not a big math person, and I'm not a big math person. Obviously, the backside, the book test, you'll have to memorize the long words, right? So you would have to memorize the long words to do the book test. But the front side, yes, there's an equation. There's an equation that you'd have to memorize. But if you were just like, you know, I don't, I don't like, I can memorize words, but I'm not good at memorizing math. I'm not really good at math. There's another way to do this. Um, you could just give the spectator a Sharpie marker and they could make an X or a circle one of these things and then slide it into your peak wallet. And you're like, well, yeah, but a Sharpie marker is permanent ink. I don't wanna put permanent ink on this card. Well, the beautiful thing about the card is it's um, slick. And so, yes, the Sharpie marker will stick long enough for um, a routine. But if you've ever written on really slick plastic, I mean, you can just rub it off with your, the oil that's on your fingers. The finger oil that you have will just rub over time, and you can take that Sharpie marker right off, especially since it hasn't sat there for very long. I mean, if you wanted to use a, um, a, a you know, a wipe away marker, I guess you could, but it might wipe away inside your peak wallet. But it is an option to use the card with a Sharpie, with no math involved. You could get your peak, you could find out exactly what topic they want, you know, help with. You pull a billet out and then you could start to give them a reading. And really, he's gonna walk you through every single one of those numbers. So you don't have to guess. There's no guesswork here. You're not like, well, I don't, if they pick change, what would I say? Lewis is gonna walk through what you say, okay? so. There, there, and there again would be a little bit more memorization, right? What are you going to say for each one of these? But, I, you know, in a, in a mentalism routine, we spend a lot of time doing predictions, right? We'll predict the future or we will read a mind, right? Someone's thinking of something and we read the mind. I think it's more rare that you take your routine to the next level and do a reading, answer a question for them. So. Those that would be a little hesitant toward doing that because you, re you know that it requires more study and more practice, getting this little card as a cheat sheet to help you do a numerology aspect is uh, a good, good idea. So slice and difficulty, how hard is it? I mean, I basically said it, right? There's a math equation for the front side, but you don't need it necessarily. And then there's some memorization for the back side with the book test. So yeah, it, and if you want to carry a little book test around with you in your pocket, I mean, that's a good idea too. So positives, it's a great little EDC, right? It's great to have something like this in your wallet so that you can always do uh, something ready to go. And it certainly is a different look than some of the other little plastic cards that I've seen. Either they make it look like a credit card or they make it look like a business card or they make it look like some sort of business that doesn't really exist. Lewis kind of makes it look um, spiritual, right? And so it, it still kind of fits the theme and so he, he put a lot of uh, thought into that. I think the only negative for this, um, for me, is there's just no live performances, right? I don't get to see how Lewis would actually do this. And I think I understand how difficult it would be for Lewis to have included a live performance. I do. Because, I mean, you usually have to find someone that you don't, don't know, right? How are you going to do this? with a, you, This is uh, magic you do for people that you, you don't know. You don't know any information about them. But it would have been helpful to see this in action. Like, 
give me an idea of you know, how you use this or how this would go. I think that would help. But I think for an experienced mentalist or somebody who's kind of wishing to put you know, their act to the next level, uh, this could be a fun little EDC. So $44. 44 bucks at mindhouse.co.uk. And like I said, even if you're not interested in this, go check out the website anyway. Go check it out and uh, peruse his titles. He's got a lot of titles over there. He's got a lot of stuff to look at. And if you uh, have appreciated uh, Louis Laval's offerings in the past, definitely go and check him out. Big huge thanks to Louis for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I know you've seen me in my videos wear this shirt a lot, the, the Magic Orthodoxy brand shirt. And I don't know if you know this, but this is not just a merch shirt. This is not just a shirt that has my brand. This is actually a magic trick. This is a magic reveal t-shirt that is available exclusively at my Teespring store. It was actually designed in Melbourne, Australia, and it is your 30 minute secret weapon. Because it looks like a seemingly innocent vintage tea, but all over this are six different magic reveals. So you got ESP reveals, coins, cards, the toxic forces on here, even a movie, and a lot more. You can use this as the grand finale of your entire close-up act. It's available in maroon, black, and gray. And I have another YouTube video that completely explains how to do a reveal for each one of these tricks. So I actually have a magic tutorial for this t-shirt on my channel. So it's, it's there, it tells you all about it if you want to learn more. Uh, or you can just go down to any one of the graphics that are down there. That'll take you out to the Teespring store if you click one of those and Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support.